Zeka tale barusa, esa pakasha, raba kata bala dia kasha, rete kata bala kadaya, rete bala kata bala kadaya, rete bala kata bala kadaya, raba kata bala kata baya, esa prakaya, macheta ya basu tela, ene baku sopradia, lukuto zekeba, rata balia nisha, azaka taya da bala kata bala kada, eka taya, mele baku seta ya bala dosa, elete bela na sofa. La Zekataya, Enzo Zatalia Dosha, Enzo Fracalia Desha, Ezakaya, Maliada Balia Casa, El Bracote Balia Dasha, Enzataya da Baliataya Cataliga da Bayata, Enza Balia Tosa Paya, Ezeketa, Ela da Balia Dosa Palia da Ba, Eketalia da Dabasha Daya. Elas lata elate bara maso fredia elasukaya elata bela no sopea elrabakatelia dosa anzetele veloza azakataya daya enso pregatea elana maya na balagada eyana maya kada balagada eyana mara kada balagada eyana mashataya lekoto so fredele ba lekataya enso pregadia la bada balagada enso pregada balia kada balagada enso Raga da balia da bala da da bala da raga da bala da bala da bala da raga da bala da bala da bala da ekatavaya masoprakaya esoprakaya esoprakaya elato sete eseka paka rabakata asakata lekata bata mekete ekete bakata da rakata bata rabakata ansala bata ensete lekete lekata lekete bata ense lekata baya lekete Zabakata <laughs> Is a fire, let's say, in La Brataya, and the Bracosa Taya, Meletos of Rakata, Brata Jacata, Leka Bakataka, Bakasaka, Rangasaka, Taka, Bakashata, Rangasaka, Bakasaga Shada, Rangasaga Balaba, Ekatabella Badrosa, Esapali and the Baya, Esakatali and the Baya, Rangada Balagada Balagada, Rangada Balagada Balagada, Rangada Balagada Balagada. Le belo sotea, eso prekatea, ala bala casa, eso prekataya, la tabalia do sataya, es de tele cataya da la gataya, el lebeca la bala gadasa, raga la bala gada bala gada, eco te bracosa, en te bracasaya, rabaco te vele batuca tabala gatuca tabala gatuca tabala gatuca tabala gatuza, la so sobraza, la se fratela, eca tabaya, maso prete, eca taliata. Masa Bayata, Melebreka, Mekote Brekataya, Eta Brakata, Azoteba, Lekote Zegata, Rakata Balagada, Era Balabala, Ekataya Daba, Raja Balabadosa, Ekata Balia, Ekoto Frete, Ekete Brada, Malabradosa, Ezekata, Mayata, Elebra Kotel Diyalaba, Ekata Balagada, Akata Bosa, Masula Batosa, Ete Brekadalia. Esaba meke ele badosa mama na baya eka baya da eje bele da bala gada ajele badosa eka la dosa reto sa da gada bala gada bela bada bela gada madu bolo kuto se gadiya madu sopre gada bala gada have your way have your way have your way eka da raka da man bala thala bala daya embele badosa tele da baya eko samba and the Beleka says, Lord, have your way, and then a cosa do what only you can do. A cosa fire, retetete, mekatelete, maso fire, a tabacata catabala cataya, a catabala catabala cataya, a catabala catabala cataya, ratatata, a zopracaya, a retebele dosa, latos of bracata, a la bracaya taya daba, and capali adaba, take the stage, oh God. And the Melosa Taya, it's a Swatia, a Sopra Taya, and the Susasa, and the 
Have your way, have your way, have your way, have your way, oh God. Have your way, 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 oh God. Have your way, have your way, have your way, have your way, oh God. Have your way, have your way, have your way, oh God. Have your way, have your way, have your way, oh God. Have your way, have your way, have your way, oh God. Have your way, have your way, have your way, oh God. Have your way, have your way, have your way, oh God. Have your way, have your way, Regatele and Nesa and the Lebecatera and Zofrekaya, Meletosa Payadasa, Ekatebali and Adoshadaya. Is the fire that the Reja Teleta, Mata Teleta, Mata Teleta, Mata Pereza, Echoes of Redi Alabasha, Echo Precatilianasa, Reta Talabara Galaba, Mecatalia, those Ante, Bacate, and Deleba, Lepos of Anta, Lequasi, and Deleba, those Antela, Ekatel, and Brados, Antaya, and Leta Belagasha, and Leta Talia Dasha, Reta Belagada Balagada Balagada Mr. Catabaga, the Balagada, and the Laboroto Zakaya, and Zofrakaya, Mazaka Baliada Dasha, and Sofrakati Labasha, Retabaso, Kazali, and Tayadas, Sofalia Dasa Kaya, and the Kalabero Selea Dosa, and the Balabala Balaba, and the Balabala Balaba, and the Kanabala Balaba, Retabala, and the Balabala, Uka Balana, Polana Matosa, and Kabalia Nasa. Safalia Desha, as the Catalia da Vasa, as the Tele Berosa, as the Tabaliana Baya, as Catabaliana Saya, and the Bacosa Baya, as the Telegandasa, as Satelia da Basha, Rete Lega da Balada, we praise your God. We worship you, O God, and the Kabarosa Telemahana, and the Lemados of Paya Ketaya, our strength, our seed, our box, and the Bekos of Tevalia Kataya Nela, and the Lebekate Lemedosa, and the Telemanabana, and Talabados, and Talabados, Rete Balia Shataya, Makata Balia. Sela, and the Badoso Safa Labaya, Makataya, and Soprekele Bedeza, and the Taya Kataya Naba, Ekapale Badoso Payana. Let us worship him, let us honor him, let us enjoy him, let us extol him. He's a great God, he's a mighty God, he's wonderful. There is no one like him. Let's thank him for his faithfulness, let's thank him for his mighty eggs, for his. A great God, He is wonderful, He is mighty, powerful. There is no one like Thank you for yesterday, thank you for your strength, thank you for your word, thank you for your grace, thank you, Lord, for what has been activated in us and the Belinda. Not of our own wisdom, not of our own understanding, but we're relying on God to have his way to speak to us, to meet us at our point of need. That when we hear the word, God will speak to our heart directly, but we pray, we will pray accurately to the heart of the Father and deliver and deliver those as we present our business supplication, they will be turned to testimonies of in the name of Jesus. Lord, take your place, uh, make manifest your presence in our midst tonight, Lord. This morning, Lord, take your place, Kayada, Esopradia, Rataya, Esopradia, Masana Balagada, Reto Sotevali, and the magnified, the glorified, the lifted eye, Reda Malagada Malagada. For you are great. You are wonderful, God. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, Jesus, for day one. Thank you, Lord, for this second day. Thank you, Lord Almighty, because you are involved. You have been seeing your hand. We thank you, Lord Almighty, for what you did yesterday. We thank you because we are, con we are confident that today will be far better than yesterday. Father, we thank you because our path shines brighter and brighter. We thank you for what you are set to do in our lives and our lives today. Have your way. Take your place, O oh God. And let your name alone be glorified. That at the end of this, at the end of this second day, glory, honor, and praise will be to your name. Knowledge will have been added to us. Our life will be transformed by your word and will not remain the same again. We thank you for the activation that's going to take place this morning. Father, we thank you as we send forth your word, as we speak to our heart, as we pray, as we share words together, as we present our supplication. All that will be done today to so be close to oh God Almighty. We bring glory or not to your name. And as we lift your name on high, draw me to yourself and let your blessing come upon us. For we are prayed and given thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes. Is morning Good morning. Yes. Bro, at least this is good morning, morning from Nigeria. From here. So, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to the Jesus. second day of the seven days of fasting and prayer. We started yesterday and it's been amazing. It's been amazing. And yesterday we look at the spirit of obedience. The theme for this fasting and prayer is prayer is the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And then we are going to be looking at some of this spirit that we need, some of this art for in the activation of this spirit in us, that we need even as we enter into the year 2024 fully, that will make, that will, that will bring about um, living, making us to live intentional and impactful life in the year 2024, that at the end of the year 2024, we will return the glory back to God because it's not going to be the same as that is starting, that will be ending because there will be a kind of multiplication, a kind of, you know, um, certain things that will be a reality in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. So today's focus is the fruit of the Spirit, the fruit of the Spirit, and I'm so glad our speaker is in the house, and also the person that will be leading us in prayer, everyone is in the house. Yes. And I just want to open the scripture, which is a, the anchor scripture for today, and then I will open the floor for our speaker. And that is from the book of Galatians, chapter 5 and verse 22. It says, but the Holy Spirit produces, I'm reading the New Living Translation, produces this kind of fruit in us. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. That's 22. And to 23, there are nine fruits there. But what we are looking at now is that it's the Spirit, the Holy Spirit that is producing this fruit in us. And I just want us to open our hearts to what God has in store for us. I want us to open our eyes to be able to see beyond letters that our ears are open to hear what God is saying to our heart and to see how important this fruit of the Spirit is, how we need this fruit of the Spirit in our lives, in our work with God, even in this year 2024. And I pray that God Almighty will have his way and efforts in the name of Jesus. So with Jesus Amen. joy, join me Amen. as I invite Minister Hika Ayomide as she brings us the word this morning. And I pray that God's name will be glorified and God will speak through her to us in Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Good morning from this part of the world. Good morning. Good morning to every one of us. Good morning, Good morning woman uh, of God. Good morning. And, uh, I want to thank God that God has given us the grace for us to be part of this vision. And God has given it to you. And, you know, being part of it is, is a great privilege. And I want to say thank you to God first. And to also thank you. Thank you so much, ma, for counting someone like me worthy. Thank you. God bless you, ma. Yes, the fruit of the spirits. I love this topic so, so much. I love it. And uh, my plan is that I will really start with that scripture, reading it. Thank God you have read it. I would like us to pray even as we continue. 
Father, we thank you. Lord, we are grateful. Our Heavenly Father, from whom all blessings flow. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for justifying us in you. Father, thank you for this privilege. Father, thank you for this platform. You have chosen to bless lives. Father, I ask that this morning you're going to put the right word in my mouth in the name of Jesus. Amen. Nothing will be spoken out of the flesh in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray that Jesus will be glorified. I multiply the flesh and Jesus will be glorified through me. And everyone that will hear this will be blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. I have prayed. Amen. 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 Yeah. The fruit of the spirit. I, I would like to start with. Um, we have read that scripture, Galatians 5 22 to 23. We have read it. So, and I would like to also read Matthew to start what I want to talk about. Matthew chapter 7. I'd like us to read from verse 17. Matthew 7. From 17, we read to 18, 19, and 20. So I can read from here. Just follow me. Matthew chapter 7, verse 17, 18, and 20. Even so, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit, is cut down and thrown into the fire. Verse 20 says, therefore, by their fruits, you will know them. This is spoken by our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said this, he said it himself. And I'm going to relate this to the fruit of the spirit. I'm trying to paint a picture of a tree right now, like, you have a tree. You know, every tree you see is expected to bear fruit. And uh, we too, we are, we are trees. Bible called us tree of righteousness in Isaiah 61 verse 7. Isaiah introduced the Lord Jesus Christ. Like in Isaiah 61, Jesus said that. Uh, that was the place where I, Isaiah prophesied about Jesus Christ. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. And he began to list all that Jesus came to do. And we are told that part of what Jesus came to do in Isaiah 61 verse 3 is that to console those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he may be glorified. We are the tree of righteousness. Jesus Christ came because of us. And the, the end of all that he has come to do is that on earth will be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he may be glorified. So my first point is that we are trees. We are trees of righteousness. And the end result is that God through us might be glorified. And Jesus told us that by their fruit, you shall know them. We are expected to bear fruit. Our, our fruit should stand us out as God's children. The fruit we bear, we be what people will point at and say, this, this is a Christian, that is a Christian. So that is the first foundation I want to lay that. Everyone saved by Jesus Christ, we are known as trees of righteousness to bring glory to God on the heads. And the glory we are bringing to God is by the fruit we bear. Is by the fruit we bear. See, you may be anointed, but if you lack this fruit we are talking about, people would not like to hear you. In fact, they will shame that anointing if it gets not taken. When you're not bearing the fruit that is traceable to the God that has given you that anointing, they can Put, they can talk you down. But when you bear fruit, even without talking, you, kind, you attract a kind of respect. Because you are bringing glory to God. So that is the first thing I, I've come to establish. Then back to Galatians 5, 22 to 23. It says, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, 
long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self control. Against such, there is no law. Don't forget, you cannot bear it by yourself. We can only bear this fruit by the Spirit of God. By the Spirit of God. So, as trees of righteousness, the God has planted. We are planted in God. To bear fruit, it means you have to be rooted and grounded in God. If you are not rooted and grounded, you can't bear fruit. If you are not rooted and grounded in God, you can't bear fruit. That is what I want us to look at. Many people, they call themselves Christian, but there's nothing interesting to that fact that they are God's children. You cannot trace anything that this one is a child of God. The, then what can we now say? What's the question now? The question is, is this person rooted in God? Is this person grounded in God? Because I'm telling you, the truth is that you know, every tree, everything gets strength. Every tree gets stamina by what it absorbs from the roots. From the roots. You know, the nutrient from the ground is what gives the that tree the strength, the, uh, everything it needs to bear fruit. Any tree that is not getting the right nutrient from the ground will die automatically. So where we are planted is God. If you are not planted in God, you can't bear that fruit. And you can't be a tree of righteousness and you bear fruit that is unrighteous. It's not possible. It's not possible. The, the Matthew we read said, a good fruit, a good tree, bears good fruit. So we are trees of righteousness. We are supposed to bear fruit that repeat that we are righteous and those fruits here, fruits of the spirit. You know, the Bible call it fruits. Oh, oh. The, every of those, uh, every of those uh, fruits is addressed as one. It wasn't, you won't see anything plural there. Everything is singular. If you read uh, Galatians again, it is singular, it's not plural. But the fruits of the spirit, not the fruits. So another point I want to tell us is that you are expected to be a whole. Not that uh, I, I, I have love. Uh, joy can, it can stay off because what I'm going through right now, I don't think I can permit joy, no. You have to be a fruit in all respect. All this night makes one. That's what the Bible is telling us. All makes one. And let's look at the first one here. Love. Love here is fundamental. Very, very. It's foundational to all. I like the fact that the Bible mentioned this first. Love is the first thing that was mentioned. Love. And the, the Bible told us in 1 Peter 4, 8 that love will cover multitude of sin. And I, I now understand why love is coming first. You know that if you love, if you love the rest, eh, you can cope with the rest. If you genuinely love, you can cope with the rest. No matter what comes your way, the rest you can cope with. If you love God, you know, whatever you may be going through, you just, the love of God will just be there. And you'll be, you'll be very sure of Abba's love for you. You'll be very sure. You keep praising him, appreciating him. Father, I thank you because I know that all things are working for my good. Regardless of what you see, regardless of what the way people treat you, you will see that that love makes you endure the way your brother, your sister is treating you. You are not moved by whatever. The only thing that is moving you is the word of God. Whatever God is saying is what you are saying. Not what, not what you are seeing or what is going on around you. It's only the word of God that will dictate your life, that will dictate your actions. So all these put together, all this fruit, you consider them, the, the ninth fruit is just one by the Bible, fruits of the spirit, not fruits. The nine, just one. So when you have one, you are expected to have one. The nine is just a kind of a, they, they are sets of character, sets of um, actions that are expected from you as a child of God. <laughs> the characters that you see in us. 
people should see it in us that this one truly is a child of God. So I, I started with uh, uh, love. I said, love is fundamental. It represents selfless, sacrificial love. You are just selfless at it. You are sacrificial. You are not looking at your sight alone. You are not just considering yourself. You are not self-centered. It goes beyond, you know, just mere affection. It involves actively seeking the well-being of other people. You love God first, then you love people. So the love, how, how you express your love to people proves that you're a child of God. Is a proof that you're a child of God. How do you express your love? That love is number one, followed by joy. Oh my God. Joy is not spontaneous. Is is that's why it's not called that it is not called happiness. It is joy. It is not caused by what is happening. When you are happy, or something just happened, happened that you are happy. No, it's not because something just happened. This is permanent with, with you. That is joy for you. You you just have the joy of the Lord, regardless of, of your circumstance, regardless of what you're going through. That joy is there. It's a fruit. It's a fruit of the spirit. Joy is very important. It's not dependent on circumstances. It's the joy that comes from relationship with God. Because you relate with God, you just see that this joy is there. This joy is there. Then the next one here says peace. Uh, for me, this peace, you are the only one that can witness it. You will know that ah, there is a peace that I can't explain. There's a place, uh, I'm trying to remember this, as uh, I find joy in something, some, this song by, is it Maple City? There's this song I, I lost so much. I, I still got joy in chaos. I got it, da, 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 da. That song, you know, that, that song is deep. The lyrics of that song is so deep. So deep, I still got joy in chaos. The, regardless of what I go through, I think I've got the joy of the Lord. So joy is permanent. I say it again, joy is permanent. It is not spontaneous. It is not seasonal. It is not when things are happening. It is when, even when things are not happening, you've got the joy. Because Jesus gives the joy. He said, my joy I've given to you, not as the world gives. So the joy that we have been given is a joy that is not seasonal, that is unconditional. It's just there. You cannot. I, you, you, you have given me, I know what is called, I know what is called peace. I know what is called joy. You know why I said that? Because some things that I encountered, I see that, I, I see that it's the others. I'm just at peace. Patience, another version say patience, loss of it is endurance, is, is the same thing as endurance, is the same thing as forbearance. You know, it has to do with a calm and composed attitude. You're just able to, they are going a while, they're just running out of scatter. There's this calmness that comes in you, there's this composed attitude that you have because you're not moved. That is, that is long suffering from kindness, my God. We are spread to express this. Kindness to people, to as many people that lives around you. Just express kindness. It's not only those who, as many people that come your way. Kindness can be extended online. You know that. Even people that have never met you, you can extend <clears throat> your kindness to them. You, you, you can. Kindness, you know, you are motivated. You have a desire to do good, to show compassion to people. Goodness is another one. Goodness, talking about integrity, your moral excellence, just being fair, just being fair, reflecting God's character. Faithfulness, oh my God, this is unwavering. 
when you're talking about faithfulness, it is unwavering, being committed, just being loyal, loyalty, being faithful to God and to men. It, re it, it really implies being reliable. That's faithfulness. A good tes a testimony, I mean, a good example is that testimony God had about Job. For me, that is God talking about the faithfulness of somebody, talking about the reality of a man, talking about how lawyer Job was, and God was referring to him. Gentleness is another one. That's meekness, humility, self, and, and as many things that reflect that you, you carry this. That is meekness. It was a considerate and gentle demeanor towards other people. So all these put together. The last one, let me quickly say before, because my time. Discipline, self-control, it is discipline. You know, you, your ability to restrain yourself over your desires and actions. The ability to resist temptations, to make choices that align with God's principles. So all this put together, make the fruits of the spirit. All together, make the fruit of the fruit. Like this fruit, the fruit of the spirit. We are in the same way. This is very important. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! I think my time is almost done, and so I, I would like to, I would like to say that please, I'm talking. Anything I say, I'm talking to myself. Never lose sight of remaining grounded and rooted so as to keep bearing fruit. We are offshoots of a good fruit. We are called trees of righteousness and that God may be glorified. We are trees because we need to bear fruit. We are trees because we need to bear fruit. And that's why we introduced that. We are trees of righteousness and that we may bring him glory. So please stay rooted and stay grounded in the Lord. When you're grounded in him, then the fruits become so easy because it's, it can't be done by the flesh. It is not by the work of the flesh. Naturally, every man is selfish. Every man is naturally selfish. It is only the Holy Spirit that helps you to possess those virtues. The fruit of the spirit, the virtues, all of them, they are virtues that we are supposed to, to possess. So man is naturally selfish, but by the help of the Holy Spirit, flesh is dealt with. And we just see that we are living the God kind of life that begs all these fruits, the fruit of the spirit. And I would like us to just tell God that God, give me the grace to keep bearing this fruit for you. Give me the grace to bring you glory. Let men see the fruit I bear and give you glory. Help me, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Amen. I can see the flag, so I don't want to be. <laughs> amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, amen. Ma. Amen. Amen. We receive the grace to bear fruit in the name of Jesus Christ. So we are going into prayers now. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank you. I hope you are still around today in case there are questions. Yes, that are coming. Yes, okay, Ma. All right. Sister Mercy, please, you can take over. Um, can I share my screen? Yeah, okay. Let me. Hello. Can you hear me, sis? I can hear you. Yes, you can. Okay. Is 
Is it visible now? Yes. Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are, um, we are going to start praying. Uh, we are going to start praying. Our prayer point uh, is for the fruit of the Spirit. So let's open our mouths and begin to thank the Lord for the word that we have heard. Let's open our mouths and bless his name. Thank for he you, is God. For the word Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 to 23 says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such, such things, there is no law. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray for an overflow of the fruit of the Spirit in our lives. Amen. Let's pray that God's Father, transformative power cultivate within us love, joy, of peace, of patience, kindness, goodness, life. faithfulness, so gentleness, and self-control. Open your mouth and begin we'll to pray. pray. Father, in the name power. of Jesus we Christ, we thank you, Lord, love, joy, peace, for the overflow of the fruit of the Spirit. We thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We adore you, for there is none like what we be, we worship you, Abba, we give you praise, Lord. Be thou exalted, Father, be thou magnified, and be thou praised. Everlasting Jehovah, we thank you because you are God. We honor you, there is none like unto thee. Male, Brodo, Sintele, Bradish, Kale, Gadaya. Lord, we thank you for your transformative power, which cultivate within us your love, your peace, your patience, your kindness, your goodness, your faithfulness, and your gentleness. And self control in the name of in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. The next prayer point is taken from Romans chapter 8, verse 29. It says, For those God for new, he also predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. Let's surrender our hearts tonight, mm. asking the Lord to walk in us, to produce this fruit, yes, making us reflection of his character. Amen. Father, in the mighty name Father, of Jesus, in the name of we Jesus. thank you because we you are God, our we give you praise. You, Lord Abba, Jesus, Father, Father, we worship hey, you. Father, Abba, we Father, we honor you. you. Abba, we Father, ask there God is no one like that you walk in us. We produce the fruit, the fruit in us, making us reflection of your power. In the name of Jesus, we need us to be surrendered our hearts to the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, as we have heard, we cannot be bound. Father, we ask for the help of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. As we yield, as we surrender our hearts to you, in the name of Jesus, that you want in us to help to allow your heart to be produced in us, that we may reflect your character in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you. Sorry. The next prayer point is taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. And it says, And we all who with unveiled faces contemplate the Lord's glory are being transformed into his image with ever increasing glory, which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. Let's open our mouth and begin to say, Lord, as we yield ourselves to your shaping hands, 
May mm -hmm. our lives be a testimony to the world of your grace and goodness. Let the fruit of the fruit we bear be evident in the inward transformation that only your spirit can accomplish. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Father, in the name that is above every other name, Lord Jesus, even as we yield ourselves to the light, oh Lord, to your shaping hands, may our lives be a testimony to the world of your grace and of your goodness. Lord, let the fruit appear and be evident in the inward transformation that only your that is bringing about transformation of the inward transformation that only your spirit can accomplish. In the name of Jesus, that we bear this with not just for ourselves, but to make the world a better place in the name of Jesus. Be thou exalted, even as we yield ourselves, O Lord. Let transformation come, O Lord. Our Father, which will encourage growth and fresh start. in Jesus mighty name we are praying amen the next uh, prayer point is we are going to pray from the scripture Philippians chapter 2 verse 13 he said for it is good which it is God for it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure let us pray that God will make patience be our virtue kindness mm. our language and goodness our way of life mm. we pray that we, we should strengthen our faithfulness nurture our goodness sorry mm. our, our gentleness, gentleness and instill in us the self-control needed to navigate in the name of Jesus. life according to his will. Amen. Let's open our mouth and begin to in pray. The Father, in Jesus. the name that is above Father, every other we pray name. the Lord, Lord will make patience our Lord, virtue. Father, you will make kindness Lord, our that, language. Lord, you will and you will make goodness, O God, Lord, our way of life. You will strengthen our faith. You will nurture our gentleness. If and you will instill in us the make patience our needed to kindness our language, Lord, and goodness our way of life, life. strengthen our faithfulness, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, strengthen our faithfulness, Lord, not our gentleness, to navigate kindness be our language, Lord, and goodness our way of life, strengthen our faithfulness, Lord, not our gentleness, to navigate kindness be our language, let goodness be our way of life, in the name of Jesus Christ, and instill in us the self-control needed to navigate life according to your will, in the name of Jesus 
in Jesus mighty name we are praying amen lastly we are praying from James chapter 2 verse 17 he says in the same way faith by itself if it is not accompanied by action is dead so let us pray that the fruit of the spirit will, will be evident not only be evident in our words but in our action that flows from the heart transformed by his grace let's open our mouth and begin to pray that oh lord in any way we exhibit this fruit of the word fruit of the spirit let it be oh lord you go by evident in our action let it be evident in our actions let it flow from our hands let it transform our lives by his grace transform the lives of others by his grace Amen. 
Amen. It's time for our personal supplication. Let's come before the Lord in prayer, seeking the manifestation of the fruit of the Spirit in our lives. Let's open our mouth and just begin to ask the Lord to grant in us, uh, to build in us uh, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, self-control, everything that we require for this, that the Lord will grant to us. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lord Jesus, as we pray this morning, Lord, fill my heart, Lord, with the love that mirrors your unconditional and selfless love. May I love others as you have loved me. Grant me a joy that transcends circumstances uh, rooted in the knowledge uh, of your will and promises uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father, Lord, immerse me in your peace, uh, a peace that goes beyond understanding, uh, guiding my heart and my mind uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, Lord, teach me patience uh, in waiting and enduring, uh, recognizing that your timing is perfect. Uh, help me, oh Lord, uh, to be a channel of your kindness, uh, showing compassion and grace uh, to those around me. Maka patole bradaya, cultivating me a heart uh, that seeks goodness and righteousness, uh, reflecting character, reflecting, oh Lord, all that you need to see in me, strengthen my faithfulness, oh Lord, uh, making me trustworthy and committed uh, to your ways in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, grant me a spirit of gentleness uh, in my interaction that I may emulate your humility. Maka patole instilling me the discipline needed uh, to exercise self control over my thoughts uh, in the name of Jesus uh, and may these qualities be evident in my life uh, reflecting transformative work uh, of your spirit uh, in the name of Jesus uh, Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Blessed with him, we worship you. Blessed with him, we give you praise. Blessed with him, we honor you. There is none like unto thee. Be thou exalted, be thou magnified, and be thou praised. Everlasting Father, we honor you. Everlasting Jehovah, we give you praise. Masa Badaya, Epatushka Lagadaya, Ezadada Badishka Legada, Masoto Pale Badishadaya, Esata Katara, Empatushka Legadaya Mashidada, Rapato Sese Pale Badishada, Ramasa Taya. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, glory be to the Holy Name. We honor your Lord Jesus. We give you praise, everlasting Father. Man, keep a toes that I have in the of gentleness in our interactions that we may emulate your humility. In the name of Jesus, instill in us, Lord, the discipline needed to exercise self control over our thoughts. And our, our actions uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Manin Brado Shade Kataya is the Libra Dosha Dabada, Masle Palo Patish Kalagadaya, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus, Make Patulu Brabadish Kalagada, Raze de 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 de, Maski Badaya, Maso Talaya, Ekas Galagada, Mase Badosh Gelegadea, in Zabadaya, Makita Loka Pataya, Meshe de Bakutu. Jesus, Amen. Amen.
Amen. Amen. I pray you, this Lord. morning that all these qualities be evident in our lives, reflecting the in transformation the of work of God's spirit in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Amen. Back to you, Sister Kenny. Amen. Thank you so much, Amen. Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for answered prayers. Hallelujah. Praise God. Um, okay. We're going into just a brief discussion on the fruit of the Spirit. Thank you so much, Ma. I'm looking for Minister Inka your new day. Okay, yes, I've seen her. So I don't know maybe why she was sharing. You have a question that you would love to ask or something to have to eat. Maybe why you were meditating or, you know, getting scriptures, feeding on the scriptures on the foot of the street. Maybe there's one or two things you would love to have. We just have a few minutes for that. Then we're going to take testimonies and we're going to wrap up for this morning. Okay. Fruit of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Fruit of the Spirit. Let's share. Let's share something. Hallelujah. Okay. First of all, I can see your hand. You can unmute, sir. Let's just say what you want to say briefly. First of all, where are you, sir? I yes, have... you can say something. Thanks all right, sir. Yes, we can hear you uh -huh. now. Yeah, um, thank you so much, my Bless God for that uh, powerful ministration. Um, yeah. Looking at um, the way the Lord figuratively uh, presented us as to what we are, what we should be, and all that, um, looking at the same figure, uh, can we look at the the factors that uh, affect the fruitfulness of uh, trees, uh, the quality of fruits of trees as it um, applies to us? For instance, uh, you have a mango tree, certain things could happen that the mango coming out of it are not really desirable, although it still bears mango fruit. Is there where we can just look into sort factors uh, relating it to our lives as fruits, uh, as the uh, trees of righteousness, ma? Am I to talk, ma? Yes, ma. Oh, I was waiting. Okay, okay sir. Yes, because my net my network was fluctuating. Please, ma, help me with help me recap. My network was just help me recap, ma. First of all, please come again with your question. All right. Hello. Yes. No, yes. I, I said when the Lord presents us as trees of uh, righteousness. Okay. In the scripture, we say, yes, it figuratively uh, told us what we ought to be. Now, looking at that same figure, uh, figurative expression, we find that trees, the regular trees, sometimes bear fruit, but yet their fruit are not desirable by reason of certain factors, pests and things like that. Uh, can we bring that to our own status as trees of righteousness and I look at those matters that okay. could affect the quality of our fruits. All right. Thank you, sir. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's I, open I believe... to everybody. That is... The question is open to everybody. Okay. Yeah, so. All right. I know, first of all, you can answer the question. You are just asking. You are just asking. <laughs> this is midnight. It's good that way. Okay, what choices can make? Okay, you can go ahead, ma. I'll All right. Again. All right. You, you know, we, we are the planting of the Lord. So the one who planted us is God. And we are called trees of righteousness. 
and we are expected to bear fruit. At the end, that he might be glorified. So those expectations at planting, at the plantation stage, is that we will end up bringing glory to him. So unlike that man go to your, the other, producing something that is not pleasant, God is not expecting anything unpleasant from us. It will take anyone who is no longer abiding, like Jesus said, that we should abide yeah. in him, that mm -hmm. we, to, we can do nothing. The book of John. So same way, anyone who is going the other way, who has started to derail anyone who is beginning, who has started showing some traits that cannot be traceable to this fruit of the spirit. Definitely, that person is not grounded, grounded and rooted in Christ. Mm -hmm. It takes anyone who is grounded and rooted to bear those fruits. I'm telling you, it takes anyone. Yeah. Who this we are in the end time. If you are not, if we are not careless. We, 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 if we choose to be careless with our lives. It's dangerous. We are such a time that we have to guard all the everything about, including what we look at, what we hear. I I, I listen to some messages. I like God. Is he real? It's not. It's true. They did. I thought maybe they are skit. It's not skit. For real. Mm. Men are bold at teaching heresies. Honestly, bold at, honestly. Like, there was a man. Uh, uh, I, I watched one on YouTube last week. A bishop. He was a bishop. He, uh, he was granted an interview one one of the national TV stations, and he came up. You know, he he, he, grant, he, he was granted this interview, and he was saying that they were asking him, "But bishop, before now, you do tell us that um, there's nothing like gay." He said then he didn't know much, but now he, he has better understanding. And he came with his wife, another man. And this is a man that was a coach. Another man. Can, can you see? So you can't tell me such a person is he's still in the Lord. Definitely he has derailed. He has gone and we need to be conscious, intentionally guard ourselves, avoid all kinds of carelessness. This is the time we need to be all for God, unlike before, more than before, because the world is getting darker. It's getting darker, and we must get more grounded. I'll say that again. Amen. The world is getting more darker, and we must be more grounded in the Lord to stay afloat all this evil or the end time. So, sir, the intention of, a, of God is that we bless this good news. And not the other way. So when you see any Christian doing that, carelessness are setting, indiscipline are setting, so many things are setting. The person is no longer paying attention to praying. The person is no longer paying attention to study of the word of God. Because we are what we know. The word we control. The word of Jesus in us transforms. The word we always become friends. We become part of us. So anyone who you see is a Christian and is no longer living those virtues. That person is drifting away gradually mm -hmm. and is dangerous. Thank you. I think so that's much, what I have to say about it. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much, Ma. Even um this evening while I was just you know meditating and talking about thinking about the fruit of the spirit, um I have some about I have three main points that was led in my spirit that I wrote that which I will share. Mr. Favor, I can see your hand up. Is there a question or addition? Addition to the Okay, question. please. Yes, um, ma. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, ma. So when we plant a tree, it is expected that we nurture that tree. Not immediately you plant a tree and the tree begins to be fruit. Absolutely. So when we nurture the tree, the tree must grow. It means that as a child of God, you must develop capacity, you must grow before you can bear fruit. And how can we how can we grow? It's by dwelling more and more present by studying the word of God. A normal a normal tree normally bear fruit after it has become old enough to blossom freely. So the earth of the tree depends on the environment. Protein habits. Is used. If you must check your environment, 
ensure that you nurture the tree, you nurture yourself in the word of God, and you surround yourself with the children of God that can help you so that you can bear a better fruit, fruit that is desirable. And God will bless us. Over. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Mr. Favor, for that uh, addition. And I will, I will only take addition and not questions because I think questions, once is answered, uh, another question can come out of it. And then, because of the time, let me quickly share what was laid in my heart um, on the fruit of the Spirit. I typed it down so. The fruit of the spirit, number one, is a con is continuous, like uh, Sister Favor just mentioned, as it occurs throughout our lifetime. Life lifetime. So it's not what we just expect. Okay, since I've given my life to Christ, then I'm supposed to be bearing all this fruit. It's a continuous thing, and it's also progressing. It's developing gradually. It's developing gradually. A tree. If we have never seen a tree that has fruit, be it orange fruit or mango fruit, we can see. And you know, um, Minister, uh, Mrs. Ayinka already mentioned it. Sister Favor also mentioned it. Abiding, a tree that is fruitful is in one place. Is well stationed. A fruit is well stationed. Is planted. Is fixed. Is positioned. Is not moving here and there. So anyone that wants to bear the fruit of the spirit must not be here and there today, here and there tomorrow. You are lukewarm. You are cold. No, we must abide. And what are the three things that was said in my tree? Number one, when we choose to abide, the first point is abiding. That when we choose to abide, the Holy Spirit can walk in us. Then you know, you know, like if you want to make, I have a, what is it called? I have two girls. So the younger one, when I want to make her hair, I have to give her something to be watching. If not, I can make one head today. She will stand up and moving around. Come back, sit down again, I'm moving around. But if I have a job station, I'm able to complete whatever I want to do. So if we are saying, God, work on me, work in me, work through me, we must abide in him. Not that we are here today, and God is working on us. They're like, God, allow me, let me just go and satisfy my flesh. Let me go, and then we'll come back again and say, Lord, I have come again. Come and work on me. Come and do what you can do in my life. So it is important for us, as we desire the spirit of the spirit to grow in us, to, to to manifest in us, we must choose to abide so we can give the Holy Spirit the time to work on us. So I said the Holy Spirit can work in us to be a fruit, to know God. Don't just know about God. It is possible for a Christian to be fruitless, but not with an abiding Christian. If you read the book of uh, that John chapter 15, yes, Christ, I mean, Christian can be fruitless. But abiding Christian, those that have made a choice to abide, they cannot be fruitless. John chapter 15 verse 4 says, remain in me, that is abide in me, and I will remain in you. For I, for a branch cannot produce fruit if it is severe from the vine, and you cannot be fruitful unless you remain in me. So when we desire to bear this fruit, we must choose to abide and stay with God and stay connected to God. Secondly, of the things that was said in my heart, that the kind of fruit which, was, which has also been mentioned, that the kind of fruit we exhibit, the kind of behavior that we display publicly shows our roots and connection. For good trees cannot bear bad fruit, and bad trees cannot bear good fruit. Genesis chapter 5 verse 17, the sinful nature wants to do evil which is just the opposite of what the Spirit wants. And the Spirit gives us desires that are opposite of what the sinful nature desires. So we can see the war. These two forces are constantly fighting each other. So you are not free to carry out your good intention. Many will come to provoke you to anger, and you want to give them the peace of your mind. Like, I'm not a fool. I'm going to reply her. Then what fruit are we manifesting? Yes, that I'm a Christian does not mean I'm a fool. Maybe you are driving, especially if you are in Lagos, and someone just drove roughly beside you, and you just went and you wanted to say something, you know, and you now caution yourself. You know, you are lying the fruit of the Spirit, but some people will just let it go. Are you, you know, 
And at that moment, what fruits, what are, what are we, what are we manifesting? Who are we reflecting? So it's not enough to just desire the fruit of the spirit. We must be conscious of the kind of behavior that people can see around us that we manifest. Things will come to, you know, that will bring about horror. I know they talked about the works of the flesh. After I mentioned the works of the flesh, the Bible now says, but the only thing will produce this kind of fruit in us, love, joy, peace, and patience. And the third one is when they throw a stone to a fruitful tree. Many of us, when we want to cut, when we want to get a fruit from a tree, mango, orange, in either you use stick or you to use the stone to eat it so that the fruit can come down. And we can never see the tree bending down to pick the stone and say, okay, I'm going to throw you back. No. When they are throwing a stone on the tree, it's because that tree is fruitful. So when things are being thrown at all, and you're like, God, what is happening to me? It's because we have fruit that they are looking for that they want to get. And we don't have to take that the stone and say, okay, I'm going to reply them back. I'm going to throw the stone back at them. No, we let the fruit that we carry, if it's love, but it now depends on the situation. At times, it may be the love that you have to respond to that person. At times, it may be with patience that, okay, or long suffering, or kindness. It's the fruit that we are bearing, that when the stone is being thrown at us, or maybe they are using a stick, is it a stick? It's because there is a fruit or not. But we don't have to bend and come down to their level and say, okay, if you are throwing that stone to me, I will tell you that my own hand is working too. Come down to their level and pick the stone and throw it back at them and be exchanging words. And, so, and I know this is how she used to think, she used to lead prayers, this is and that. What fruit can they see about us? Fruit of the Spirit. It's just for us to be intentional. As we have read it, even in the prayers, it's been mentioned that this fruit of the Spirit reflects the character of Christ in us. We must not be that, believe, that believer, that Christian, that they will not look at you and see yourself and you call yourself a Christian. We are not bringing glory to God. We have and live the, with the fruit of the Spirit in order to bring glory to God and say, ah, if this is how Christians are behaving, I want to be one. I pray that God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. This was what, was, what, what, what dropped in my spirit, and I said I'm going to share with us this evening. We have each day that we're going to be having a focus, you know, to talk about on the outpouring of the Spirit. We cannot do this, you know, in, in that New Living Translation, it says, but the, fruit, but the Holy Spirit will produce this kind of fruit. So it is not for us to work it out by ourselves. It's just for us to abide and allow the Holy Spirit to work on us. We women, we know when we go to salon, maybe they are making the hair and you have been sitting, you want to stand up. They cannot make hair while you are standing up or walking away or you want to go and ease yourself. They cannot beautify your life until you sit down and let them do whatever they want to do. Then you look at the mirror and say, wow, we must choose to abide. We must choose to abide. To allow the Holy Spirit to work on us. Yes, we must not be repellent Christians. Say this one. No. So it is how we live, how we conduct ourselves, how we react. How we react. So that's what I'm saying. It's progressing. Some of us, we are still in work in progress. So we just know once, even when things have gone wrong. We just have me and say, oh, God, there was one time something happened and the way I reacted, I went back to God. I said, God, I didn't like the way I reacted to this thing. Just say, okay, send message to her. And I sent the person message that, sorry, this happened it was because of what was happening around that time that made me react that way. So it's a, it's a continuous work. So when something is happening again, I'm, I know how I can, you know, control myself, discipline myself and hold myself and not to respond immediately or find a way so when there is temptation, God will always make a way of escape. God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know if we still have um, um, other additions to it that will, you know, let us all go so we can go back and reflect and take our time and say this year, uh, more than ever before, more than I did last year, 
I want to manifest this life of Christ. This character, I want to reflect it. Yes, sir, no tree ever returns the throne thrown at it. If we see ourselves as tree of righteousness, we must be planted, abide, and the fruit will come. And once the fruit comes, it's not for us. We do, the tree will never eat the fruit by itself. It's for the public. It's for the world to see. For us to make impact. And they're like, God, I thank you for this tree. I thank you for this life. This 2024 must be better than 2023. The outpouring of the Holy Spirit. The outpouring of the Holy Spirit. We need the help of the Holy Spirit to bear the fruit of the Spirit. And God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Do we have other, any addition? I'm not going to ask for questions. We can ask for we can ask questions anyway. And if it's what we can answer, but if it's the kind of question that would bring up us another question, it's because of time, not because when we are dodging anything. But here is just for us to equip ourselves. Equip ourselves. Let us encourage ourselves and build up ourselves. Our lives is not even about what others are doing or what others are not doing. It's about me that I'm on this call, whether on Zoom or Facebook. How am I going to release myself to abide, to stay in one place? So those that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Are you a child or a son? Are you a child or a son? To be a son, we have to re release ourselves to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, let me just read the comments. We are closing. Mm, the creation and with the manifestation of the sons of God. Yes, sir. The quality of the fruit is dependent on the quality of abiding in the vine. Absolutely. Absolutely. A tree that is not well rooted, any small wind will, will, will uproot it. Even if it has fruit, they will be uprooted together. But when a tree is well planted and deeply rooted, nothing, let the wind come, they will shake. Oh. I know when they are shaking, so it's even bringing more fruit out. It's even, you know, but the, the tree abides. And then once those, once those fruit are falling off, it's for people to be blessed. So no matter what is happening, Kedavaro so tired about, no matter wind that is blowing around us, blowing us, let the tree bring out fruit. So that we can bear more fruit. And God is glorified in our lives. I hope we have been blessed this night. This morning. This second day. I hope we have been blessed. If I should call Sister Tosi to come and be talking about plants. Now we are not going to leave this place. So I'm not going to call. <laughs> she loves planting. And she can tell us a whole lot. When it comes to planting. I hope we have been blessed this night, this morning. Yes. If we don't have any uh, other questions or additions, I want us to just, you know, bow down our heart to God and ask God for the grace. Even ask the Holy Spirit himself, Holy Spirit, help me. Holy Spirit, help me. Holy Spirit, help me. That we release, it's the only way that we produce the fruit in our soul. Is the only thing that will produce the fruit in us. It's not where we go for shopping. I go to a mall. Okay, I want apple. I want, uh -uh. We can make decisions for that. But when it comes to this kind of fruit, it's the Holy Spirit himself that will produce this fruit in us. And it's the, it begins with love. Love is the foundation of all. If I don't want love, I cannot have self-control. If I don't love, I cannot have patience. Holy Spirit, work on me. Work in me. Holy Spirit, help me to bear this fruit, to reflect Christ. Just to be close to God, just to live a godly life. Life that is pleasing to God. I want to be a son. 
I want to grow yeah, into sonship. I want to grow in the sonship. Those are led by the Spirit of God. They are the sons of God. Holy Spirit produces in me love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, kindness, self-control, faithfulness. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We give you all the glory and our praise. Holy Spirit, help me. The sons of life are actually designed to make us benefit our world. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let us appreciate God for this second morning, second night, second day. Let us thank God for the word, for Minister Yika. Let us thank God for the prayer session by Sister Mercy. Let us thank God. Those are the prayers that we need to go back and pray more and more, more and more. More than God bless me with a new car. God, I need a new shoe. Lord, I need a new cloth. This is the kind of prayer that we need. Once we bear fruit, you know, <laughs> we cannot take what the, because of, because every fruit has a seed, and the seed will also bring out bring up other fruits. It's just for us to allow the Holy Spirit to work on us, to work in us, that we may live a life that is pleasing to God. We know the issues, we know the areas where the work of the flesh is still manifesting in us. Let us ask Holy Spirit to help us overcome this. Oh, Selena Kaya Labaranda Lebedo Sopaya Zada. Anger, adverse of hunger. Idolatry. Idolatry is not only going to shine, but esteeming other things above God in our heart. Every jealousy. Bringing confusion, division. In the name of Jesus, every work of the flesh I see manifesting, or every canality in me, Lord Almighty, help me to overcome. Let them be cut out. Let them be cut off. Father, deliver me by your mercy. Every activity of Holy Spirit, work on me. Holy Spirit, work in me to produce love, joy, peace. Patience, goodness, kindness, bestness, control in me. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Abba Father, for this morning. Thank you, Lord. We are grateful. May your name alone be praised forevermore. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we have come to the end of the second day, second day, second night, second morning. And we trust God for this night. We are coming again by 11.50. And this night, our focus is on the spirit of the fear of the Lord. The spirit of the fear of the Lord. And then we have a pastor that will be sharing the word with us. And also uh, one of our sisters that will be leading us in prayer in that regard. The spirit of the fear of the Lord. I will also soon post the, you know, the kind of the kind of short flight that we made, you know, for us to be able to pray and also have few scriptures to meditate. Not only that, let us also get other resources to effort so that when we come, I will say, okay, come and share something with us. You will be able to have something to share with us. To, to this night, I will be calling names for everybody to share and say something about the fear of the Lord. We may not take questions, but we may take questions, but people will share something. So please, let us go. You know, let's take time to study the scriptures, get other resources about the fear of the Lord. We, it doesn't have to be long. It may just be a line. It may just be two sentences. It may just be something. Everyone, I know the names of the people I can speak it. Everyone, please. It's just for us to equip ourselves. Iron sharpens iron. No one knows it all. We have been blessed by what Sister Yeka has said. We have been blessed by other through the prayers, through the additions, through what is our favor said. So let us all learn and come together and say something. And I pray that God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. We receive strength mm -hmm. as we continue to wait on God in the name of Jesus Christ. Please don't don't forget that it's with fasting. It's with fasting. I know churches are fasting, but in case your church is not fasting, please these seven days join us as we fast. You know, let's fast. Let's let's build it up. Let's build it up. Many, many, I, I still believe, even if you're fast, we are fasted, you know, projecting into the year 2024, this year also, 
you you in this year that we are that is pregnant let us load it up let us also make some declarations and sow good seeds and make investments in this year so that we can begin we can see the fruit manifesting in us and i pray god will help us thank you everyone and do have a wonderful night rest enjoy mm -hmm. yourself and have an encounter and see you by 11 50 as we share the grace together in fellowship the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, yes. the love of God, yes. and the and this, fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Rest and abide with God now and forevermore. Amen. Jesus. And surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall go in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Shalom. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, Mr. Inka. Thank you so much, Mr. Thank you, Ma. Thank, Thank you, you for man. ministering to us. Yeah. Thank you all. See you this night. All right. Bye. 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 Bye.